AC unit ain't turning on today. So you can see the thermostat. It's set to cool and auto, but the thermostat has no power. So we got a low voltage issue. This uh, float switch was connected to the pan. It's a clip on, so it was clipped onto the pan. But that's not the issue, obviously. That's why I took it out. So we'll check the fuse. Pull the disconnect out and check the fuse. The breaker was good. That's the first thing I checked. All right, we'll just pull these screws out and pop the cover off. Yeah, the fuse is blown. As you can see, the black spot in the middle. And uh, you can replace it and keep your fingers crossed that it works, but it never works for me. Just like a leak on a uh, water meter. It's never on the city side. It's always on my side. So we'll pull the fuse out and diagnose a low voltage, 24 volt short. Yeah, for you new guys, these fuses just pull out. Just yank on them and they'll come out. Yeah, I'm going to use my short Pro Tool. I'll leave a link to it in the description below on this video. You can order it and have it delivered to your house. I love this thing, man. This is just so you don't go through fuse after fuse after fuse trying to find the short. Alright, one alligator clip goes on one side of the fuse terminal. And the other goes on the other side. Now we're going to disconnect the T-STAT wires and take it wire for wire. I'm going to leave the light so it's visible from the thermostat. If you see a light, you still got a short. Once the light goes out, the short is fixed. I'm going to pull the cover off the thermostat and get to the wires. Not all of them come apart that easy, but a lot of them do. And I'm going to pull the red green. This is a heat pump, so the orange and the yellow out. Alright skid bros, get your wires out of the T-stat, let them hang. The red wire is the power feeding the thermostat coming to it. The orange wire is for the reversing valve. It has to be energized for it to cool because uh, this is a heat pump, Goodman heat pump. And the green turns the air handler fan on and the yellow wire goes out to the condenser making the uh, contactor connect and turning the condenser on. Leave your common in, don't get that in the mix. Leave the C, the blue wire in. And if you, you know, don't put that in the mix, you'll blow your transformer, pop a fuse, and the other two are heat, and I'm not even gonna deal with those because we're in June. And, uh, but if you have a straight cool system, not a heat pump, it's a straight cool, you won't have to worry about the orange wire. It won't be there. All right, I got my jumpers on all the wires. If you're wondering where I got this, I actually made it. I'll leave a link to the video on how I made it in the description below. It's real easy. All right, now we're going to turn the power on and I should see a red light on my short finder. I should see a short, that is. Sometimes they'll throw you an old curver. Put a new fuse in and it never shorts again. But I obviously have a short. There's the light. So I'm going to remove one circuit at a time. And whichever wire I remove the circuit from and the light goes away, that's where the short is. So we'll start with the reversing valve. Still got a light. So there's still a short. And now we'll go with the yellow wire that feeds the contactor. No light. So that's where our short is on the yellow wire. There goes the old fanage. So our short is on the yellow wire. First I'm gonna go out and check the contactor. Ohm it out, make sure it's good. Make sure it ain't got an old roach leg roasted in there. And make sure your power's off. No power, we're good. Now you probably won't be able to see what I'm doing from the spaghetti of wires, but I'm just removing the two wires from the sides of the contactor to test it for ohms. The sides are your low voltage, the bottom and the uh, high terminals are your high voltage. So disconnect the sides. On this case, it's my pink wire. Pink, and, pink, pink on the left, blue on the right. All right, now I've got my meter set to ohms. I'm just gonna 
touch each side of the contactor on the low voltage terminals. The ones in the middle. 23 ohms. Contactor is good. So we've got us a short in the yellow wire. So what I'm going to do is just take the yellow wire totally out of the mix. Now I'll hook the wires back up. This is the side terminals I was talking about. Right here on the side. That's your low voltage. I see some guys online saying, hey, I've got a fuse popped. My fuse keeps popping. What's the issue? And those, some guys will come on and say, check your capacitor. Guys, capacitor is high voltage. I mean, I, I guess it could get weird, but I've been working on these since 2004, so never had a low voltage due to the capacitor. All right, contact is hooked up. We're going to substitute the yellow wire, get it out of the mix. Yeah, now hold your horses now, Clem. What's that I see there? A nick. Are you kidding me? That's just as good as seeing a uh, leak on the city side. All right, I'm going to try to put some strong electrical tape around that and see if that's what the issue is. It's probably arcing off of this metal here. All right, I gave it a good wrapping with some electrical tape. Pushed it up in here further. This is how I found it. So I didn't build the place. All right, guys. I'm just covering the nick. All right, I got my jumper hooked back up. Now let's check and see if it is the nick on the yellow wire. Clam Cadoodle Hopper! Look at that. Old Nick causing all this havoc. Bada boom, bada bing. Let's go see if the uh, outdoor unit's running. It's running. I'm gonna put some padding in here too, just to pad that up so this ain't so abrasive. All right, here's what I would have done if I didn't see a nick on the yellow wire. Sometimes it just, it burns up in, in the, uh, the chase, in the wall, and there's no way you can find it. It's just too much wire. So instead of running a new wire, here's what I would have done. I would have taken one of these wires not being used. There's a brown, a black, and a green. So I would have taken the black, stripped it, and taken this yellow out here. Take it totally out of the mix, out of the wire nut. Take the black and stick it in with this uh, blue and pink wire. That's the one feeding the, the condenser from, from the indoor air handling. So take the black, strip it, take this yellow wire out, and put the black wire in with this yellow or uh, pink and blue wire. Then go upstairs and continue doing the same thing, taking the yellow wire totally out of the mix. All right, this is the strand going down to my condenser. So. And do the same thing in the air handler. Disconnect the yellows, take the blacks on both sides, strip it, and connect them. And last but not least, do it on your thermostat as well. I just go all the way so it doesn't confuse anybody. Black wire, strip it, and stick it into the yellow terminal on your thermostat, the Y. And that's what I would do. I've done it hundreds of times, and it works when there's a break in the wire somewhere in the wall, in the chase, who knows. But uh, that's what I do. And also, guys, if you don't have all this fancy stuff, you know, you're on a baller's budget and you can't afford cool tools yet, that's okay. I've been there. Just get you a wire nut and you can stick the, uh, the wire into the wire nut one at a time. Start with red and green into the wire nut. Wire nut them together. Your fan will come on. Okay, you don't have a short yet. Undo it. Stick the yellow wire in. Wire nut them together. Turn the power back on. Boom. If you got a short, that's where you're... That's the, the trouble wire, the yellow one. And then continue on until the uh, until it pops. That's how you can do it with a wire nut. If you don't, if you're on the baller's budget, you don't have cool tools yet. It's all right. I've been there, Skid. All right, it's still running. I'm pretty safe, pretty confident. I mean, to uh, button it up, put a new fuse in. All right, I plugged a new fuse back into the terminal, and got my thermostat wired back up. I'm gonna put the cover back on and test this baby out. Well, the thermostat's on. That's good news. And we'll wait through the infamous heat pump delay, which you can reset for shorter, but man, I don't like messing with stuff. And some of you new guys, uh, just be patient. You know, you, you fix the thing and then you say, oh, it's still not coming on. Wait till that blinking goes away. When it's solid, cool on, not blinking, that's when it's ready. It'll come on or not. 
All right, the unit came on. See how the cool isn't blinking anymore? If you don't hear a fan and that's solid, you got still got issues. You can hear the air handlers running. Let's go outside and make sure the condenser's running as well. All right, the outside unit's on. Moving some good heat. Good sweat on the lines. Nice and chilly suction line. Oh yeah, it's cooling down nice. It's been running for about 20 minutes. I like to hang out with the system. That's one little piece of advice I can give you new cats. Hang out with the system, man. Be patient. I hang out with it just to make sure. As soon as you leave, you know, you say, oh, okay, that's it. And you leave like two or three minutes later, and then the unit shuts off. Hang out with it. Yeah, it's cool and it's good. Yeah, and real quick again, guys, I'll leave a link to the uh, short Pro Tool in the description below in this video. You can have it delivered to your house. This thing's pulled me out of many a jam. You don't have to go through fuse after fuse after fuse. All right, these uh, low voltage shorts suck. You got to be patient. Look for nicks. If you don't see a nick, no, no signs of trouble, just substitute the wire out, replace it. Take the yellow or whatever totally out and replace it with a wire that's not being used. You be, should be good to go. All right, thank you all for watching. The Dirty Maintenance Show.